Hi and welcome to section 5 stacking models together In this section we are going to look at overview of stacking technique implementing blending in python and how to use stacking by implementing it in python So let's start with the overview of stacking technique In this video we will cover introduction to stacking how stacking works and an alternate stacking technique called blending Stacking sometimes called stack generalization involves training a learning algorithm to combine the predictions of several other learning algorithms first all the other algorithms are trained using the available data then a combiner algorithm is trained to make a final prediction using all the predictions of the other algorithms as additional inputs to understand what this means let's see with the help of a diagram here we have an input data of size m cross n This training data then goes inside different models. Then we take the prediction from these models and combine them to form a new matrix. This matrix is of size m cross m, where capital M is the number of models. This data is then used for the second level model, and then the second level model makes the final predictions. So one of the important steps here is to create the training data for the second level model. So let's understand how that is created. We split the training data into k fold just like k fold cross validation. A base model is fitted on the k minus 1 parts and predictions are made for the kth part. We do this for each part of the training data. The base model is then fitted on the whole training data set to calculate its performance on the test set. We repeat the last three steps for other base models. predictions from the train set are used as features for the second level model the second level model is used to make predictions on the test set to further understand this let's look at it with the help of a diagram let's take a look at this diagram here we have the original data which is then divided into train data set validation data set and test data set we keep rotating the validation data set and get predictions on the validation set for all the training data we also use the model built on the training data to make predictions on the test data set so now we have two tables which looks like this where the first table is a prediction on the validation set for each model m1 m2 m3 and m4 and the target variable from the validation set the second table is a predictions on the test data but here we do not know the target variable so now we will train using the predictions on the validation set as its target variable and then make predictions on the predictions of the test set blending is a similar approach to stacking in the case of blending we divide the data into train and validation set instead of k fold validation the other steps pretty much remain the same we train the base model on the training set we make predictions only on the validation set and the test set the validation predictions are used as features to build a new model this model is used to make final predictions on the test set using the predictions value as features in this video we saw how stacking and blending works 